Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that, Jim? Wonders of technology. Make it a double. Homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Well, it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was... ...kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, oh, stayed easy. in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. I'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The lamp... The Lord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were... ...boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside if you need me.
ones who need no human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. But you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah.
Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, check something. Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now!